I awoke the morning of September 8th feeling somewhat relieved from the illnesses I was battling the previous two days. We had yet another magnificent meal at breakfast and then departed Pacamayu to embark on our third and most amazing day of the trek yet. Our first archaeological site we visited was the ruins of Runku Rakai, literally translating as basket or shed. This site showcases spectacular views of the surrounding peaks, as it is located on a tiny plain amidst the mighty Andean mounts and slowly passing clouds at an elevation of almost 13,123 feet. It's a very impressive circular stone construction which has a round, small square and two curved twin spaces which were indoor areas. The purpose of this site reflects the Inca's efficiency at planning and route making. These ruins were actually a station for their runner messengers called Chaskis to take a break for eating and rest. The Incas didn't have carriages, camels or horses so everything had to be done by walking or running. Chaskis used to make stops in places like this one conveniently built along the routes in order to transfer sensitive messages to another station Chosky ready to run or stopping for resupply. They often refilled their bags with plenty of coca leaves which they chewed to get more physical and mental energy along with increased resistance to cold weather and tiredness. Later that day, we got the chance to explore the Inca site of Sayak Marca, meaning dominant town in Quechua. The design of Sayak Marca complex is baffling when observing how the enclosures are built. These enclosures are located exactly on the edge of the precipice of the mountain in which they are located, showcasing the great skill of its architects. The structures that border the precipice are not only of a residential nature, but also include channels, squares, and fountains. The whimsical location and design that Sayak Marka presents make researchers think that the complex could have been built to respond to a ceremonial, astronomical, or even sacred purpose. Sayak Marka was a defensive nightmare for potential enemies of the Inca people. Not only does it have a location that makes it difficult for enemies to access, but it also has a single access road, which further prevented strangers from entering the complex. The ruins in Peru are divided into two parts, ceremonial and residential. This site features a main doorway and staircase, as well as an irrigation system through channels that supply the houses. 
This was accomplished by a little river that was bridged into the city and an ingenious system of canalization that brought the precious water to all parts of the ruins. These canals served more than half of the houses. The water finally filled the ceremonial baths and then disappeared back into the jungle. Since there was no room for agriculture within this fort, a small ruin next to Sayak Marka functioned as the farm of this small city where only 200 people lived. Later that day, we visited the Inca site of Fuyupatamarca, meaning Town of the Clouds. These ruins of the Incas comprise of 15 constructions, six of them being ritual baths for the priests who lived in the complex. It is built on an underground river that irrigates water for its ceremonial baths. The site seems to be closely related to the worship of water, which was fundamental for the Incas since the bulk of their economy was agriculture. On this site you can also see the amazing hydraulic system to irrigate the whole platforms, which amazingly still works functionally after 500 years of being built. Fuyu Potomarca is one of the few constructions that is still intact in its majority, and from that place you can see the ruins of Intipata and Winyai Wenya.
Our last destination for the day was walking through the impressive agricultural Inca site of Intipata, meaning the place of the sun. It was constructed in a way to keep the natural aesthetic of the surrounding landscapes intact while repurposing the land for effective crop growing. The purpose of the multi-leveled Intipata ruins was also to avoid the natural erosion of the mountain, since this area was also used for religious ceremonies. The Incas tried to use as much land as effectively as possible in their crop growing ventures. Their respect for the land would go as far as not disturbing the natural bedrock, or mother rock as our guides referenced, when digging out the terraces along the sides of the mountain. The ever increasing Inca empire needed food and this system was the most efficient way to produce it. The construction of these terraces involved manually transporting tons of topsoil hundreds of miles from the Inca capital of Cusco into these mountains. Their connection to the land and their ability to create and adapt is truly remarkable to consider. Our campsite was located near the ruins of Winyai Wenya, which in Quechua means eternally young, and corresponds to an orchid that abounds in this place. As this was mainly a center for agricultural production, the stone buildings in Winyai Wenya served as administrative offices, lodgings, and warehouses to store the abundant crops, such as coca, potatoes, corn, and quinoa. We ended our night early along the side of this mountain at nearly 8,800 feet, preparing ourselves for another 3.30 a.m. wake up, this time for the purpose of reaching our final destination, Machu Picchu. Archaeological site, it's Chichach, messengers, tongues cut out, going from one place to the other on the Inca Trail to deliver messages. Action shot. Can my Instagram handle be featured on your YouTube video? I want all your followers to follow me. Yes. <laughs> it's also going to be able to talk about this place where medicine men consumed ayahuasca to further their spiritual life 
and then doctors and health experimenters help take care of the sick and trying to understand the human body with the different plant species that were around. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you can go. Do you want me to go or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll talk about the, their connection with potential aliens to do stuff like carve out of the side of the mountain and make pristine geometrical blocks at the temples at Machu Picchu. I'm ready. Yeah, we'll I'm out of my hiking boots. Yeah, so. And go pee. I've got to pee real bad. I like action shots. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, Mom. Some of them get the whole spread. Yeah, that that was yeah. Are you sure? Head cheese. Can I try try this? This? Okay, that's a good cheese. Go. In it. A lot of things. I mean, I I some of them. Oh, it was cool. I was walking down Santa Monica one day. Me some me go. Yeah, I just like to run the dead. Cheers. Keep walking. What? Keep walking. I'm shooting a video.